Hello and welcome to TTV. I'm Andrew James. And I'm Jordan Marshall. And we're here with the second episode of the season. Uh, we've had a great month this past month. And uh, in fact, October has been National Library Month, hasn't it? Yes, actually here at Moira, we've uh, started an initiative, or rather just finished it, called Get Caught Reading, where if people saw you in the hallway and you were reading a book, they'd hand you a ballot and some candy as an incentive. That'd get me reading for sure. Same here. Uh, we've had a lot of other things happening with the uh, library and reading community at Moira as well, and we have a segment on all of that right now. probably Light by Michael Grant. For all the conclusions for any book series, I think this is, has, has to be the best. Because it literally ends in a blaze of glory. Uh, if I can find any other books by the same author. Probably horror. Um, I would say that my favorite book, or the book that I really like, would be any of... Uh, any book that has to do with uh, any kind of mythology from Greek to Roman to Viking mythology or even uh, supernatural mythology. Um, Rick Riordan's books involve a lot of mythology. As everyone knows, Percy Jackson is all Greek mythology but in modern times in New York. And then he's got a spin-off series that's related to that that includes Roman mythology into it, and that's all really good. And then he's got another separate series entirely that's all based on Egyptian mythology. Yeah, I have learned that books help some people by they imagine that they live in a different world and they imagine that they are the characters that they learn about in their books and some people it helps with their spelling and their grammar and writing with all their schoolwork and stuff. Well, I honestly, at first I really didn't like to start reading but um, I started to read because it actually really interested me. Um, Sold by Pat Patricia um, McCormick. Um, I honestly think it's a really big eye opener, and I honestly couldn't put the book down. I read it within one week. It opened my eyes to human trafficking and to what girls in Nepal actually go through. As of now, I'm reading Cujo by Stephen King. I haven't gotten far into it yet, but um, I like it just because it's horror, and I n never really read any horror books by Stephen King, so I'm hoping it really gets interesting. Um, just find something that you're interesting and give it a try. Um, it'd probably be either The Maze Runner or We All Fall Down by Eric Walters. Um, I really enjoyed the Eric Walters book because it gave a, a perspective of the 9-11 um, people that were in the building and what they had to go through to try and get out of the building and like watching it all happen. I thought it was really interesting. At the beginning I wasn't sure, it was really confusing, but after a while it started to get really interesting. I could not put it down. I read it within like three days because I just couldn't stop reading it. <laughs> I'm trying to read the, set, uh, the second book to it. I have to wait for it, though. <laughs> Definitely the book. I always read the book before I go and watch the movie because it gives so much more detail and actually gives the, the uh, perspective of the actual characters. Not until I actually came into high school during like grade 7 and 8, I didn't really enjoy it. But once I got into high school, it kind of gave me a place to be away from everybody when I wasn't in the mood to be around anybody where I could just sit down and read quietly to myself. I actually like to read a lot. Actually, I started reading in when I was in grade four. I was actually in a program um, for like reading and that what got me into reading. Actually, it was Darren Sean, the Cirque du Freak book. It's about vampires and other things and demons and everything, so. I have Darren Sean, the Hell's Heroes. I read this lately and it was actually pretty good. Actually, it's about 
demons and them and actually it has a uh, chess in it too so my favorite books are horror and fantasy more like them. uh i brought gone by michael grant it's about these kids that get trapped in a uh bubble of sorts there's this evil entity and then there's a entity that people don't know about that's in a little boy that the little boy doesn't even know about. And uh, the world kind of goes all crazy when all the parents disappear and the uh, animals start mutating. Ever since I was little, I'd read comic books and when I could, I would read uh, chapter books. My mom used to read me uh, Winnie the Pooh after school at home when I'm in my room by myself. Well, internet, uh, you, you just don't get the same feeling of just reading a chapter book, selecting a page and reading off of that. Uh, I have to say uh, science fiction fantasy books. I brought Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, it's about um, more like in the future, there's like four factors. Um, I can't remember the factors, but um, they have to like choose their factors and like work with it and make themselves seem more human like people. Uh, the main character is uh, Triss and Four. They are a couple that met in Dauntless, and Dauntless is like the security of like the town. Uh, I think the movie's a bit better, but I heard that the book is better than the movie, so I have to choose between one of those. Um, some stuff is like based on a true story, and you're like, wow, that's really interesting. Like that happened to a person, and it's into a book, and then you just keep on reading about it, and then I'm just really into that like based on a true story book. Um, it makes you smarter, and then like you learn words that you don't know, and then you ask for help, and you're like, okay, I never knew what that word was, and then you look it up on the internet after and find the definitions and all that. I've started reading since I was in kindergarten. Chapter books, same thing like sports. Those are the books I like. Uh, the way it looks from here, it's about like common pain sports and how difficult it is to uh, do that job because uh, um, it's like a global 100 books the best book in global and it's a sports illustrated book of the year um yeah mostly comics chapter books graphic novels um i read the shaman king for a little bit and got really into that Yes, you have to do lots of reading in life when like you work at a bookstore or something like that. You have to be able to tell the people and help where, say, somebody's looking for a graphic novel, you need to know where that book is. Oh, I love to read. I love to read because it's fun, it makes you happy and it um, just gives you a whole lot of imagination. I bought the book Beware by R. Al Stein. The book is about all these types of scary stories that will give you the shivers as I have experienced it. Uh, <laughs> one, of, one of the stories in here is called The Surprise Guest. The boy goes up in his attic and he finds this box and it says, please don't ever open. Well, he does the opposite of it. He opens the box and co what comes out is this ghost that sucks into his body and he is this monster now. And there was a Halloween party that was going on that night and he went downstairs and frightened all the people. And they say that once they all left, they phoned the police and they tried to burn the house down, but it never burned because the ghost was still in there. 
Well, depends on age. Well, I wouldn't let a child read this book because it will give them nightmares. But if you're a teenager, then yeah, it won't be so scary for everybody else. Yes, I would. Reading's a lot of fun. I'm in grade eight. And, uh, you're in the yes, I am. Yeah, I do. It's great. I came from Our Lady of Fatima Catholic School. Uh, I feel it's a great way to pass the time, and it's also a great way to learn new words to enhance your vocabulary. And uh, I brought uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It's the fifth book in the series. Uh, in the book. Harry Potter learns that Voldemort has come back and he's coming back with a vengeance. So um, Harry needs to uh, keep an eye out and defend himself from Voldemort. Um, it's, I mean, it's really, uh, it's interesting. It's a hard one to put down and uh, it, uh, you really want to keep reading it to uh, find out what happens next. So it really keeps you on the edge of your seat uh, throughout the whole story. Uh, I, I gotta say I like the book better. I mean, because uh, it, they kind of cut some parts out in the movie that I, uh, that I enjoyed, enjoyed in the book. So um, I, I, yeah, I definitely have to say I like the book more. Welcome back. Glad to see that Moira has such an active reading community. We also have a very active athletic community. Uh, one sport that's often overlooked is golf, and we have a very important player, Alex Mahar. Do you know much about him? I believe he placed 25th out of 120 players in AFSA, and he won Bay of Quinney in CASA. That's quite impressive. Uh, I don't know too much about him, but uh, we all will after this segment. Uh, I have been golfing since the age of two years old. It was the first time when I picked up a club. Um, I would say the strongest part of my game right now would be uh, would be off the tee and kind of around the greens within a five foot, eight foot radius and putting. Uh, I make a lot of a lot of saves with with short putts that are that are really needed. And when I uh, when I need to put it down down the fairway, I can I have the confidence to do that with uh, with the driver off the tee. Uh, my season went really, really good. Um, it all, it all kind of started uh, even early last year. In, uh, in during during the spring, I, I played very well in the uh, on the Ontario uh, men's match play, which I me made it to uh, the quarterfinals and and got beat out and ran into a hot putter, but. Uh, that kind of gave me the confidence to go over uh, the summer and and kind of come into school golf with a lot of conf confidence that I was gonna gonna play well and that it was kind of mine to lose and mine to take. I think I'm a lot better informed now. How about you? I'd say so too. I've never been one for golf, but hey, that was pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. It seems to have been a month of a lot of quieter pursuits this uh, October. We've had uh, reading, golf... And don't forget Halloween events! Oh, spooky. Um, so that's all the time we have for today. Uh, once again, for TTV, I'm Andrew James. And I'm Jordan Marshall. Thank you and good night.